All right, what's up, happy people? Here's the scoop. We just made it to St. Bernard Parish, Louisiana. We're just on the, what are we, the east side of New Orleans? Yep. On the east yeah. side of New Orleans. I'll be. I don't know about y'all, but every time I go to a restaurant and I see Nolan style shrimp, I just have to get it. Well, this is Jared. He has a YouTube channel called Outside the Levee, and I'm a big fan of it. I've been watching him, so I reached out to him on YouTube and we became friends, started talking. Well, we were just in Mississippi and we're on our way to Colorado. And this is almost a straight shot from Mississippi to Colorado is through here. I'm not really good at straight shots. Anyway, we are here. Y'all are from like the Canary Islands originally, right? Yeah, yeah, our people immigrated here. Uh, when Spain was in control of Louisiana, they needed people to kind of guard this area from the British. They wanted, you know, they wanted to, to, to keep it under Spanish control. So they brought people over from the Canary Islands and they learn to make a way down here on the bayou. So a cold fronts in the fall get our shrimp moving. You know, it's white shrimp leaving. season. They're so they, yeah, they're leaving the marsh to go out towards the Gulf. So we're hoping to capitalize on a cold front, the big wind pushing the water, and we're gonna try to find a pinch point and throw where shrimp are coming through. Glad to have you, bro. Hey, this is Jared outside the levees with his good friend, Mr. Paul. It's an honor to be here. What do you think about that, Mr. Paul? What's up, Paul? You got to teach, teach me how to throw it. <laughs> get me one. You got my net? This is pretty crazy right now. I was thinking we were going to be out in some marsh somewhere. We're right here on the edge of a hard road. Yeah. We need that tide to start moving out because all of these shrimp are migrating from back in the marsh out to the Gulf of Mexico. We're trying to catch them along the way using this cast net. That is a 12 foot cast net and it's got 3 8 inch mesh, which means the, the, the little diamonds, the holes, have a 3 8 of an inch opening. All right. Hey, I hope you don't get hung up. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't we throw the little net a few times just to see. All right. um, okay, so that he does make a really good point. See these rocks? These rocks, if you get your net on them, it, it's going to be a big deal. My net is made out of monofilament, and his is made out of a nylon. You know how to throw it without putting your mouth? No, I don't. Do you know how to throw it without put, putting it in your mouth? Mm. Look at them cats! Kitty! Called a bit. Not yet, y'all. <laughs> it ain't ready yet. Oh, back if my girls while. were here, they would be all over that. Come back in a little while. It ain't ready yet. <laughs> Okay, that's it. I'm throwing my net. You, you got a shrimp. What? Right there. Right there. Big Where? shrimping, baby. Right there. Where? Right there. Oh, what? Big shrimping. I did catch a shrimp. Big <laughs> shrimping. We did not get skunked, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Oh, <laughs> that's so good. Sushi, huh? So this is what we were talking about back at the barn. Fishing connects you. If none of us spoke a language, he could come down here with this net and we could communicate just based on what we're doing. Mm -hmm. I would make it up, uh, I'll cut it in half, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll take this and put it over here like that. Over here, here. About that much? Mm -hmm. Keep your hands close together. Always have your hands close together. Holy cow! That's it. <laughs> All right. That comes it. old big. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> old big gonna catch two shrimp. <laughs> Impressed. That's a good one. That was nothing really. That I, I need the net to get wet so I can stretch it out. That's pretty awesome. Dude down here wanting to know. Oh, got shrimp. Oh, yeah, you got one some. right there. That's what I'm talking about. I got a couple of them in there. Bait fish. Those are big enough to catch like a moon fish. Not big enough to eat. All right. Just getting warmed up, folks. All right, y'all. 
What do you think? Think we're going to do better this time? <laughs> Let it rain! The wind caught it. See, anytime you're throwing a big net like that, the wind is coming down the beach like this. So if you get that net up there, it, the net can, or the wind can bend it over. Oh, I did just see a big shrimp flip. I just saw a big shrimp. Or did you throw a shrimp in the water? Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. I saw a small shrimp get thrown in the water. <laughs> yeah, look, the our title of the thing, what, you mean barbecue shrimp aren't barbecue? You hear barbecue shrimp. There you go. The reason that I spin is you want that net to come off your body. And so I'll start my spin and I actually separate it off my body on the back side of my spin. But thus far, I don't even have enough for a shrimp cocktail. Let her go. Make it rain. Then once the net hits, you let it sink all the way down to the bottom. Once it hits the bottom, you can feel it. Okay, it's on the bottom. You'll tuck it. When you tuck it like that, that, that makes these lead lines just scoop across the bottom. About like this. Oh, how did we do? Do you think we got enough for dinner? Seriously. No, I don't believe you got enough. Come on, we're gonna go, we're gonna go to my hot spot. You got better spots oh, than this? Yeah, I got a good spot. Alright, Mr. Paul. I don't know what you got going on, but where's this hot spot at? Oh, I'm gonna show you. There's the hot spot. Look at hold on, look at Mav. Mav's got a jacket on. It's freezing out here. All Are right. you kidding me? Now, this is my hot spot. I know y'all want to see some shrimp. Come on over here. Now, where did you get these? Right down there at Razio. Really? Yeah. When that tide starts running, they'll catch some large ones like this. I don't think they're all going yet. But the next night or two, you won't have no more. So here's the funny thing. We've been down there throwing the net. And he's like, no, come on, I'll, I'll show you my hot spot. <laughs> well, we come here and he's got his fire ready to go and shrimp already in the cooler. <laughs> Let's see what Mav thinks. Mav, what do you think? That's a shrimp. No? He said, I'm a, I'm a deer meat fan. He likes deer meat for dinner. <laughs> I guess she's going to use just a little bit of butter. <laughs> I mean, just a little bit. Holy smokes. You don't want to get too carried away. <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, we're just going to use a little bit. They, 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 they call it barbecue shrimp not because you cook it. It's the color. The color comes out like barbecue sauce. That's why they would call it. So I'm like, because I could never figure out why they're calling it barbecue shrimp. Barbecue shrimp is the color because it has paprika and stuff like that to give it that red color like barbecue sauce. Oh. Other than that, it's not really barbecue, but it's good. Hmm. Now we see. And are you just cooking it down on low heat like this? I'm just trying to melt the butter. Did just you, melt it? Just melt it without burning it. All right, so we just got the whole mound o butter melted down. And look at all that cream. Now, what's in this love potion here? Tell me about it. It's just a whole bunch of herbs from the earth that we love. Just Cajun seasoning that we blend together. Okay, well, what's the liquid? Water, baby. Water. <laughs> it's water. Tell me she doesn't sound like she saw my cousin Vinny. It's water. <laughs> the three youths was catching shrimp with the net down in the bayou. I love it. All right. So just give me a heads up on what some of the herbs are, you know. They're of the earth and you love them, I get that. <laughs> some recipes are just too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so good though. Can okay. I stick my finger in there? Yeah, so you're getting bay leaf and just... Bay, that's what I could taste. Mm. All right, now let's get those shrimp in here. Holy smokes, I would throw a crab in that in like two <laughs> seconds. 
Yeah, it's real good at crab claws. Okay, now, as you notice, it's not boiling yet, and she's not stopped moving it. Put them in here. Yeah, go ahead. And then we're just looking for that barbecue color, and we'll see it over time. What's the lemon for? Flavor. Flavor? <laughs> Vitamins. <laughs> A little bit of the love, y'all. <laughs> we do a lot of farm the table here, so we try to do organic growing, and our goal is to be able to feed it to our consumers. So you're literally getting out the water to the table, and then from farm to table. We're talking about lettuce, herbs, um, as much as we possibly can. That's super cool. Yeah. I had absolutely no clue I was getting ready to meet Mr. Paul, his daughter Rachel, Brett, the whole crew here. All I knew is that I was meeting Jared from outside the levee. And the rest is just icing on the cake, y'all. That's all right. We had no clue we were meeting you in our <laughs> Sunday afternoon clothes. Hey, we're, we're, we're making barbecue shrimp at the hot spot. We're going to get right. us a sign and put up here, the hot spot. Can you see how they're just starting to Yeah. Turn? Yeah. You just let them down. But you're constantly moving them. And it keeps the flavor. It's a short, quick meal. This is something that you would do before a, a crawfish boil or before a crab boil or something, just to feed people. So this is like just an appetizer so people can get their fingers dirty and eat. Correct. Um, this is a perfect out of town. You're coming in. We can both do this at the camp for you. We set them all up and we cook on the spot for a lot of people. Or you come to the restaurant, we can do that. Um, different experiences. You just got to let us know what you want to do. Well, baby. My wife, Sarah, back home, I love you so much, honey. You would love this. The smell, you would absolutely fall in love with the smell. I'm going to send you home with some seasoning for her. She can do this at home. It's too easy. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's great. So quiet. <laughs> We're used to music. And... You normally have music going on out here? Yeah. Like what kind of music? Oh, we just... Favorite song? Oh, she... It's just Cajun pop music and different really? things. What's Cajun, Cajun pop? Swamp pop. Yeah. Huh? Swamp, Swamp pop. pop yeah. or, mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Swamp pop's like a genre from the 50s era. It sounds like 50s era music, but it's Louisiana musicians. Sometimes it's in French, sometimes it's not. But Swamp pop's its own genre from Louisiana. Hey, I want to ask you guys a question. Have you ever in your life heard of Swamp pop? <laughs> I've heard of K-pop. Have you ever heard of K-pop? You know where <laughs> K-pop comes from? K-pop's from Korea. Korea, yeah. I've heard of pop, which, but I'm really interested with this swamp pop. Yeah. yeah. Swamp pop makes me think of, of like my swamp buggy ripping through a sawgrass pond. What? Yeah. Barefoot. Yeah, like hip hop in the swamp. Right? Yeah. yeah swamp That's what I'm pop. talking about. Swamp hop. Yeah. That's, yeah. Mm, holy crud. Yeah, we can't dip until we eat some shrimp. We break though. bread. <laughs> Dipping comes after we eat. Okay, oh. I promise I won't. Oh, Any anytime you see that much butter in seasoning <laughs> with shrimp in a bowl, I'm diving head first. Oh, look at that. I just want y'all to look at that real close. We left West Point, Mississippi earlier today. It's amazing at a restaurant. But this is over the moon, man. Thank you so very much for in, for inviting me down here. Mr. Paul, thank you so much. Maverick, come here. Come here, buddy. Oh, as y'all can tell, Maverick is from South Florida. He has very short hair and he's not big into the cold. Miss Rachel, thank you very Aww, much. You're welcome. Um, if possible, I'd love to come to your restaurant and do a, do a, a recipe there. Yeah. Everyone else, we're in St. Bernard Parish, just outside New Orleans, Louisiana. Historic St. Bernard Yeah. Parish. About 10 years ago, this place was under 30 feet of water from, from Katrina. Literally, all of these homes mm -hmm. were demolished from that hurricane. But they came back stronger than ever. And, and uh, you're standing in a shed and water up to here. There was water right here? Yeah, up to here at least. Five foot, at least five foot. Wow. It's the resilience of the people. Yeah. It wasn't just Katrina. It was Isaac, it was Ida. It just keeps coming in cycles and you just adapt and move forward and just show people what resilience is in America. And that's what we're holding down right here. You're awesome. Yeah. Hey man, <laughs> Brett, you got a lot to be proud of. Oh, yeah. 
Listen, you guys, I don't even know where to start, but this is an amazing day. We're going to be here all week. We're going to be doing all kinds of really cool stuff, and uh, I appreciate you being a part of it. Take care. God bless. And we are gone.